So hi everyone, this is Louise and welcome to this week's colouring video. I am so happy you're here. Thank you so much for joining me. I post these videos every week and we are colouring from my Colouring Botanical Blooms, Bouquets and Mandala colouring book. We're colouring a page every week and I'm just so glad you're here. So this week we are going to be colouring this page. This is in section one of my book. And this is the dogwood blossom. So again, using my favourite colour of pink, <laughs> we're going to be colouring this in. But what I'm going to actually do, I'm going to try and restrict myself maybe to either one or two pinks. Try and restrict the colour palette a little bit. I thought it'd be fun to do that. So we've got these lovely lines in this design. So I can kind of use like a bit of a gradient to create... Um, a different kind of look and feel to the blossoms so just using one pencil or two pencils we're going to kind of play around with going lightly and then a little bit more stronger with the pencil here and um, we're going to definitely be coloring in a dark background here because I feel like it'd be nice to make this design pop like we've done in some of the earlier coloring sessions um, and of course I'm going to be coloring in the gray scale as well so we're going to end up with a beautiful double spread which I'll show you at the end of the video so as always all the information is in the description and please leave a comment and let me know how you're getting on and um, any questions you've got so come on then let's get coloring okay so hi everyone today we're coloring this dogwood blossom from my coloring botanical blooms bouquets and mandalas book and I am just really excited about this design because I think I'm going to try something a little bit different with it. But I'm going to use these as my inspiration. I've got um, a kind of a watercolour bloom that I coloured in for my book, Drawing Botanical Blooms, and my little card as well. So I'm going to use that for inspiration. And I've grabbed my colour palette and we are going to be working with a very limited colour palette. You can see I've just got three colours. We're going to be using my favourite pencils from Staedtler and I'll add all those links and information into the description. So I am just going to do a quick little intro here on a couple of the first blooms that I'm colouring in and then I'm going to speed up the film for you. So the first thing I'm going to do is go through and actually just colour in the centre parts of this bloom and I'm just using this green to do so. So for the main colour of these lovely blooms, I'm just using this one single pink colour. And I've got these lovely lines here on the blossom to guide you. So you can go through like I'm doing here to begin with. And I'm going every other section and colouring this in. And then I'm going to go into the other sections in between and go a little bit lighter. Now the dogwood blossom, when you actually look at a photo of it, it does have... Um, some kind of whitey shaded sort of areas so I'm going to actually approach my blossoms in that way so generally round the bottom part and the end it has this these white marks so what I'm going to do is not actually color in the full blossom so I'm just going in here at the moment just to kind of demonstrate this too you can see I'm coloring in this particular blossom and I haven't gone all the way to the center part of the blossom and you'll see the effect that this actually has and it actually creates this gorgeous pattern as you go around now obviously this is optional you don't have to do this and there isn't kind of a guide on where to do this in the actual coloring page so you can decide how much of a larger white area you want to include so I'm keeping the area kind of relatively the same as I'm going around all the different blossoms, but it doesn't really matter if they're slightly different um, in nature. Things are very different. So you will see how gorgeous this looks once this page is finished. And then we're going to add some a darker colour in the background to make this design really, really pop out.
So I have this Payne's Grey, or I guess it's an indigo pencil that I'm going to use in the background. I think this is such a gorgeous colour to incorporate with this pink and a little bit of that green. It's lovely. It's a nice soft colour. It's not as harsh as black. And I think I prefer this colour to actually using black. But um, obviously, if you use black, it's going to have a completely different dramatic effect. Um, but I personally just like this softer colour. So I'm going to go through and I'm going to add this all into the background to make the design pop. And then we're pretty much finished. And I will show you the double spread at the end of the video. Thanks a lot, everyone. So, how did you find that video? I hope you really enjoyed it. I actually love colouring this in. It was actually really nice working with a bit more of a limited colour palette. And I do tend to <laughs> kind of gravitate towards pinks more than any of the other colours. I think I'm just going to have to, I'm going to have to just order some new pink, um, pink and green colouring pencils. So here we are. Here is the finished spread and I am loving this. This is definitely, I think definitely my top five so far. And I think we did a really good job here, even though it's not actually on the colouring page, just kind of limiting where we're putting this um, pigment here, I think really, really did work. And I think it created such a lovely feel. If you actually look this blossom up on the internet, a dogwood blossom it does have kind of like this little white that kind of goes in the center here and then maybe sometimes around the edge as well so have a look and follow along with my video again and then see how you get on with um doing that i think it's really really pretty and i'm really pleased with how it turned out and of course we kind of did it a little bit more exaggerated on the grayscale page here but I still love how it turned out and then obviously you've got like this stripy feel with the petals here as well so overall I love coloring this one in and I hope you love coloring this in as well so if you've got any questions please add them in the comments and again all of the information is below if you haven't yet subscribed I would love to invite you to subscribe to the channel and um Hit the notification bell as well so then you get notified when I post a new video but the moment these are out every Saturday certainly in 2024 anyway and I just love this coloring club that we've got going on so I hope you guys are loving it too please let me know in the comments if you're enjoying the videos I would love to hear and yeah as always thank you so much and I'll see you next time thanks